Hey guys, it's Angelon Wallace here with a Nomad Recruiters Academy student, Mark. Um, today he's going to tell his story about how he closed his first two deals uh, within, I think, I believe, 30 to 45 days. So, Mark, how are you doing, mate? How's it going? Doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. How are you, AJ? Yeah. How's it going yeah. today? Hey, man, I came to play. It's uh, 6 o'clock in the morning here in Thailand. <laughs> so, hey, I think uh, lucky you. It's, it's 6 p.m. for you at the moment. You're at, uh, in America. So, yeah, it's, it's it's different, mate. So, look, man, I'm just curious. How did you, you know, I always like to ask people, how did you come across me, man? What was your situation when you found me online? So, um, so long story short, I've been... Um... I've been working as a business analyst, what you call system mm -hmm. analyst for many years. Mm -hmm. I'd say about 17 years now and okay. um, worked a lot with recruiters. And um, I started off, I kind of got the intro into this uh, arena of in recruiting through another program. But, yeah. but uh, eventually how I came across your stuff, basically I just listened to some of the things that you had delivered. And one of the key things, key drivers that really drew, drew drew me close was the fact that uh, you just mentioned one statement, you don't show up in a potluck with nothing. Mm -hmm. And that is yeah. not something that I'd really, really heard. It, and that really made a lot of sense in me because of the fact that if you're going to be talking to clients, mm -hmm. uh, you really have to show up with goodies. Mm -hmm. uh, and you have, to, you have to showcase whether at that particular point in time that you're mm -hmm. new to them and you're not, you you know, you, you haven't proved your worth to them. You have yeah. to showcase what you are, you're capable of. And right. in this, in this regard, if you showcase that you've done a bit of research about their mm -hmm. company and you're, you're capable of, and you're actually able, you've actually you've done some research that you're capable of delivering a candidate mm -hmm. to them. Mm -hmm. That is really what they're looking for at the end of the day. And that's the reason why they posted that ad up there. And I, right. I kind of went, now I changed my, I pivoted my approach, my client, mm -hmm. uh, what you call business development approach to that way or to wow. that method of really approaching yeah. the clients with something at hand rather than mm -hmm. begging, uh, coming in and saying, oh, yeah. uh, you guys are looking for candidates. I have these many years of experience in recruiting and I'll be start. more than happy to help yeah. you. And that's what everybody's yeah. doing. And really, so I think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so you, so you're, you know, you have this years of experience you're looking at the, taking a different approach. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, prior to me, um, you already had purchased a few other recruitment coaches courses and you just, and they just wasn't working for you. And, you know, yeah. and mm -hmm. not it, it was, it was working, but I think the main, the main, the main, uh, where I turned the corner was actually that, that new approach. And I couldn't have learned that, that approach. We, if I hadn't come across your YouTube content, so to speak. My YouTube content. Okay. Exactly. And so, yeah. And you, and I mean, because a lot of people, I know a lot of people, you know, I have a lot of my competitors, uh, a lot of my competitor students are inside my program. So everywhere from the Millionaire Recruiter to D. Williams to Ben Nanner and so many more, they, a lot, I have a lot of their students in my program. And what usually happens is they purchase their programs and then they come join my program and they make mm -hmm. their first deal. So I'm yep. just, you know, I'm just curious. A lot of people, that already have purchased courses or going with these these top these top coaches. What made you say, man, I'm gonna still invest into another co course? Because a lot of people would <laughs> they wouldn't pay more money for another program or another coach. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I think the reason is because of the fact that uh you you know the potential of the market. I myself right. know having worked with the recruiters throughout my career as a, in, the, in the IT industry, I mm. know for a fact that the recruiters that I've worked with have been in an industry, like mm. working for, let's say, one company for like yeah. the, the same number of years I've been in, running around between different clients as a contractor. Mm. So that means these guys, number one, they've been making quite a bit of money. Their mm -hmm. careers are more stable. They live in a, they live a better life, less stress. So mm -hmm. it means there's, there's a lot, there's a lot, out there in terms of like in the career in the in the recruitment industry so to speak as, yeah. as compared to let's say um you know not to say that i'm not beating down on being a software developer or mm -hmm. okay just hang in there Zuri, i'll be with you in a minute mm -hmm. um yeah so anyway that's that's the reason yeah. the fact of the matter is that there's still a lot of gold out there and not to beat up on any other approach out there but i think yeah. your approach where see see let me let me bottom line it for you mm. 
if you don't get responses from clients or potential clients, whether it's a yes or no, you're not likely to get to the next stage of the conversation, mm -hmm. which is what you have to offer. So mm -hmm. if if you're if if you send a message or if you send 10 messages and you don't yeah. get nothing, mm -hmm. it's better than it's better you send three messages and get four replies than sending 20 messages and yeah. get nothing, get frustrated. So yeah. it doesn't matter the tech 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 technical the tech suite that you have yeah. or the number of mess autoresponder messages you have set mm -hmm. up. It doesn't work until you you uh you really resonate with someone and they see the reason for them replying to you. Uh, and I think yeah, so that and and, yeah. and and that's a good point. Uh, yeah. My competitors, it's not to say that what they offering isn't good or bad. I'm not saying that. I think the thing that separates me from my competitors is that I have more than one sales strategy. And yeah. you know, and you know, me and you talked about this on our private one on one call, but. You know, when a when a when a when someone's just offering you automation, you only have they only have one sales approach, and I have seven. Yeah, it's hard to be unsuccessful in my program because it's like, well, if this what you know, what happens if I spend ten thousand dollars on this one strategy? What happens if this one strategy doesn't work? And then doesn't it's like, exactly. well, yeah, it's, it's like, well, what else do I do? And I think that's mm -hmm. what I'm trying to help people understand. What people keep asking, what separates you from other coaches? I have seven, you know, seven different strategies, but on, on top of that, I have more testimonials and more reviews of real people or real names, you know, because some of my competitors, they're, you know, they're, uh, their testimonies are not real. And, yep. um, and so I, I want to be sincere uh, and, and possible at the end of the day, but I think when people are looking up coaches, you need to be looking up who your coaches are. You need to be looking at their websites. You need to be looking at their brand online. How much content are they giving out, out there for free? I have over 250 videos on my YouTube channel, you know, mostly in the recruitment sector. So it's a lot of content that people can learn from me and, and three free eBooks. Mm -hmm. So Mark, I want to go back to me. So, so you're, you get into the program and then not only did you, uh, you know, you land, you land your first client. Let's, let's talk about the money, baby. Let's talk about the client. Let's talk <laughs> about the client first. So you lay your first client, you got six jobs, six cybersecurity roads. And, yeah, and, so, um, so yeah, we have, uh, okay, Zuri, can you give me one second? I'll be right with you. Okay. <laughs> we understand it, Mark. Yeah. That's, that's, that's the natural human. Listen, we all go through it. That's, I was telling Mark, don't be, don't be ashamed to have your kids on the call. It's, it's normal. Absolutely. For no Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, uh, I landed this client. So basically he was, he was, he saw my message and he was mm -hmm. interested. He, 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 he put that in from that caveat in front of me and told me we don't necessarily work with all types of recruiters. We look for recruiters who are experienced in looking for candidates who mm. have some uh, clearance with them yeah. and uh, security I, clearance. I, Security clearance, so to speak, it's just yeah. the government work. Yeah. And uh, I have worked for the government. Um, some of the work that I've done, I've been cleared myself, even though, even though not at the, the top security level. But mm -hmm. I, I, I have worked hand in hand with cleared candidates. So, mm -hmm. so I'm not gonna be sh fearful or shy away from that. So I said, yeah, I can definitely help you with that. So, and that's pretty much how I, I ended yeah. up signing up with with the the, the client. And basically, uh. I basically started working with him and uh, yeah. so, so far, just kind of summarize everything. So far, we have, uh, or oh, I have two, two oh, cyber. No. Look, before we get into that, I want to, <laughs> I want to break, <laughs> I want to break down before we get into the juicy part. I want to break down the, the steps, you know, because I want people, you know, often I think with some of these calls, Mark, uh, we highlight wins, but we don't highlight the steps you know what the i mean steps. okay and i want right. to and i just want to highlight the steps for people to, to hear you know i'm without giving away too much details mm -hmm. but you got your first client and you didn't even you you waited i think until a week to tell me or something because I, sometimes a lot of students don't understand what what success and wins are and i think when a lot of uh my one a lot of my students or potential students out there when they hear about results or wins, they think that, oh, making 20 or $2,000 is a win. Listen, making 100 calls a week is a win. Talking to clients a week is a win. Having six interviews mm -hmm. a week is a win. Landing your first client, your first contract, you know, sign is a win. 
and you landing, you not only land six roles, but you got your contract terms. That was a win. And I think you waited a week to tell me about it. And you wasn't even that, you know, you were excited, but you you didn't put your, you know, I always say put that energy out there. That's why I always tell my students, when you get your first client, post it in a private Facebook group, you know, right. brag about it, immerse yourself in it, because it's you're only one step closer. So the fact mm -hmm. that, man, you landed, you know, you know, I've had people in my program for almost a year that did not, that hasn't had that much success to land six jobs and the first client off the mm -hmm. back of the gate. So that was really impressive. So you get this client and you're like, now I need to find candidates. And what right. steps did you, what steps did you take just to even strengthen your chances even more to find so basically, candidates? Without, 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 giving in order to get, details of without what getting you without with all that it might mean my new details. Okay, gotcha. So so basically what I did was I know mm -hmm. I have um you know, LinkedIn tools, mm -hmm. uh, the LinkedIn tool itself, the LinkedIn sales navigator, you know, the, the entire tech tech suite. Yeah. I have all that. But one of the conversations that I had with you is kind of work with also people who are mm -hmm. actually also, you know, out there, like whether it's the Fiverr or Upwork and work with them to, to gather the specific type of data that you're right. looking for. So so I did follow that and actually did buy a few of those yeah, yeah. To, and, to get and you and and I guess without going into much in too much details, you came to me and you were like, AJ, I'm struggling to find cybersecurity clearance candidates. Mm -hmm. And I need other strategies. Now you already had access to the program and you also had access to weekly calls with me because we I get I, we have our calls every Thursday night. Mm -hmm. But you paid for a private one-on-one -on -one session. Yeah. And within within 10 minutes, what did I send you to help you? Uh, to help you out. Besides the information I gave you, what else did I send you within ten minutes? When I uh, mentioned the person, when I mentioned their name, I sent you an email or something. Oh man, I'm trying to draw a blank. I know for I sure you sent me a resource. I sent to go you a, and look for. I, I sent you a connection of a person who had a academy of cybersecurity students. Yes, of course, of course. Yeah, you you did send me, you did me connect me with one of, one of the um one of the, your resources, one of one the recruiters my, who is actually one of my students. Yeah, yes, and one of my absolutely. students, one of my students. Yes. You yes. got on a call, you got on a call with me, and within ten minutes, I connected you with someone who had over a hundred cybersecurity candidates. Yep, and yep. that and that alone, Landy, you you know. Just you taking a chance, because so many people, man, they, you know, excuse my French, but they whine and cry over a hundred dollars or a thousand dollars, and you just landed yep. a fifty, you just landed a fifty-eight thousand dollar deal just by taking initiative. You, you know, yep. and people don't even understand the power mm -hmm. within that sometimes. So you, yep. so you, so you, you know, I sent you this email. I gave you some other strategies, mm -hmm. um, you know, through LinkedIn. And, and and sales navigator mm -hmm. and now you find your candidates what's so what's the steps you find your candidates you interview them mm -hmm. so basically uh i started doing the phone screens yeah. uh well, well we started off with uh, um, email conversation because mainly, mm -hmm. mainly the initial communication with potential candidates through email mm -hmm. and uh and also uh, connect linkedin connection so mm -hmm. So, so, and then pretty much from there on, um, the candidates, some of the candidates were not, were actively looking, but they were, they did not have the correct, you mm -hmm. know, requirement, the, 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 the correct clearance. The security they, clearance, they, yeah. So the, the clearance level I'm looking for is actually for so the majority of the roles is polygraph, which is like okay, yeah, one, of the, uh, yeah. one of the highest. Mm -hmm. So some of them did have uh, top security, but they don't have the poly. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so for, you know, long story short, I did, uh, I was able to get five of them through mm -hmm. the gate, submit them, and uh, two of them have gotten um, two two offers each, Amazing. and uh, they are pretty much at the final stages of mm -hmm. onboarding. They're onboarding uh, anytime now. They've already uh, re pretty much did the background check and everything. They did the background check and everything, and you yeah, also already, mm -hmm. and you made sure that um, that they're not accepting any other counter offers they're taking this job they're going to be willing no to they've work. already they've already confirmed 
that they already, they've already moved on from their uh, previous uh, engagements yeah. and they're they're ready to you know start these new engagement yeah so those these two are solid the ones mm -hmm. that I follow, I'm currently following up on are kind of like halfway through there they're not really a yeah. hundred percent but for sure the two that I know they are ready to move on and, and how, they're ready to on board so how much are these two deals what's the total the total fee that you're gonna make off of these two deals um for so these for these two guys, uh, so these two guys, the first one is uh, is, is grossing two ten. Okay. So if you multiply that by, um, okay. by, by it's it's basically a point thirty one thirty one grand for one of the rows. Thirty one thousand for one the of the rows. And, uh, and what's the second row? And the the second one is uh the first one is thirty one five hundred. The second one is mm -hmm. one eighty. Multiply by mm -hmm. so the second one is 27k pretty much 27k and if so you that's, have, that's so if somewhat you, what about 58,000 58,000 on a deal yeah that's 58,000 but now it ha because of the nature of the roles they're gonna have to split split all these up in six months so they're gonna right. be sending me a check of uh, close to uh, I mean nine nine thousand seven fifty a month for six months as long as these guys don't quit that's the guarantee <laughs> Right. You're, hey, that's resi listen residual income, baby. That's the yeah. that's, that's that's what we call champagne recruitment. Look, yeah, fifty eight thousand. Mm -hmm. Listen, what you pay for the course, even had a you even pay for a private one on one with me, and you yeah. landed a fifty eight thousand dollar deal within thirty days. Now, this is also hard work. This is not. I tell people this is not a get rich quick scheme. You've been yeah, working. It's, it's you've hard. been working hard, Mark. You've been putting in the work. You, it's not just me holding your hand. I'm not here to hold people's hands. I'm here to teach you how to think like a recruiter and teach you like an entrepreneur. But fifty eight thousand dollars, mate. Like, dude, you're killing it. And and and, but Mark, man, you've been going at this all year. Why didn't you like? Why didn't you give up? What made you keep going at it, man? <laughs> I think I think predominantly is because of the fact that. Uh... I, I know the I know the potential that's out there. And mm. also I think judging myself, I don't think I was putting a hundred a hundred percent of the effort. In other words, I, I respect that. when I switched my when I, you know, switched the pivoted from the way mm -hmm. I was doing things before and you know, like put put more effort in client outreach, you know, making sure that uh you know, I'm, I'm every day. It's pretty much every day I was on it. Every day right. I was on the, you know, I'm sending out emails every day and I'm following up until mm -hmm. I landed this person. Uh, but then, but then also the thing that helped me is because mm -hmm. of the fact that I, I, I didn't just kind of do what everybody is doing out there. I just kind of right. changed, pivoted into my own process of, mm -hmm. you know, and trying to make sure that I'm, you know, do what I mentioned earlier, which is, you know, come with the, come with the, come to the table with, with uh, lots of value. Mm -hmm. You know, get on the call and be a person. You know, mm -hmm. I think being getting getting being a if you're afraid of getting on the on the phone to talk to people, mm -hmm. you know, I I think it's gonna be a because at the end of the day, this business is yeah. not about uh, it's not about the dollars, it's not about um, yeah anything. It's a this business is a people business. It so is. So if more than anything, it's about people, whether mm -hmm. it's clients, whether it's candidates. So we really have to be get ready to get on the call and talk to them like a like a human, you know. So that's <laughs> well, really, really that's, what really well, Mark, you, said, the, the you said you said something that's so important, mate. Because people yeah. don't understand we're in a business where our product can say no. And you yeah. know, and that's and that's what I tell people, you know, we're not selling, you know, digital products, we're selling people at the end of the day. We're selling people. And, exactly. and, and it's and it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful thing that we get to help someone get a salary increase or relocate. But also, yeah. you know, you know, it, a lot comes with the job from time to time. Mark, man, I want to I want to ask you a, a few more questions. So we got a lot of students out there, you know, they're afraid to take risks. They're afraid to invest in themselves. They're afraid to invest into a course or a program. What would you say to people out there watching this call right now who's who's hesitant on buying a course or a program? Because it seems like, you know, a my course helped you so much faster than you trying to learn on your on your own. But what would you say to someone? Do they need a recruitment course? Do they if they don't, do you recommend them to have a course or a program to get them started? Like, yes, you know, what was your what's your thoughts on that? I would 110% recommend that 
they a person who is kind of questioning themselves as to whether or not they should you know join your program they should go just dive in right away because mm -hmm. you will spend quite an a num oh you expect quite a bit of effort youtube being doing your own research and then still come back to the forums and youtube comments asking all man and facebook asking all manner of questions where or else you could just get in here learn the step by step mm -hmm. and then and then be able to get on a call with you or any one of our our, our group members and mm -hmm. we're ready to help you get get across you know yeah. get across that fence so that so you can start like you know talking to real people talking mm -hmm. to the clients you know if you're stuck with a candidate your candidate approach mm -hmm. you have a person who can answer those questions and so we all face challenges whether mm -hmm. you're experienced or not so i'd say if if someone is out there and doubting themselves it's really really highly recommended that they, they jump on mm -hmm. you know we with no doubt don't doubt yourself take a chance on yourself you know Take, mm -hmm. take a chance and really if you think about it mm -hmm. I, as I, as i recall you know i came to the united states around 2004 or 5 there and i came okay. for a master's degree yeah. and uh as i remember my first semester was going to be like close to $10,000 mm -hmm. it, it was a two year master's degree program so yeah. if i add all the costs that i that i incurred during my master's degree program with what we are, we're, we're getting here it's yeah. nothing and the value mm -hmm. you get here is like a hundreds hundred signs yeah. over you know this yeah. is way more valuable than any any other education that you can get out yeah. there and pay for so and wow. uh, yeah so yeah and you, just take a chance you on also, yourself yeah mm -hmm. and mark you also mentioned so you purchased other recruitment courses in the past and my program you said was more detailed more organized can you talk about that a little bit about when you got inside of the nomad recruiters of course the Re recruiters academy course compared to other people courses without giving away details of the program. But what what were your thoughts when you got assigned my program? I, I think obviously because of the fact that number one, you start you start off the course with uh, the mindset. My, uh, yeah. you, there's a lot of content there. I actually wondered wow, did did you read a book and copy paste? But <laughs> after reading all that, I kind of noticed that you are doing all the writing up yourself. You, you've done a lot of analysis and write up yeah. about mindset. So that's very yeah. important. Yeah. Getting in the right mindset it's really, really something that uh, it's mm. something that a lot everybody should should no first one, of all, no one thinks about it. No one thinks about it. Yeah, exactly. Because when you get into uh, recruitment, you just want to when you get recruitment, you're like, oh, I just want to land my first deal, and then you get exactly. your first client, and then the client, mm -hmm. you know, decides to go with another recruiter, or you get your candidate to the final round, and then mm -hmm. after spending five weeks, you know, pre preparing a candidate, and you lose the job mentally you're going to be discouraged because you just spend exactly. hours and hours on a call, hours and hours <clears> on the <throat> phone. And that's yeah. why your mental has to be in state. You know, when I first started my beta program, I always told all my first six students, they all made, they all got their first client, but they all struggled mentally. They had friends and family saying, why are you doing this? Why are you working for yourself? Why are you becoming an entrepreneur? You're not going to be successful. They had days where candidates were dropping out. They were just at their all time lows and the mental was it more important? I think I'm the only recruiter still to this day that a uh, recruitment coach that offers this in my program because so many people get this, they get easily get discouraged. Mm -hmm. You know? Oh yeah. So you you yeah. go through the course, you, you see you go through the course, you see the mindset content, and you see other content as well inside of there, like the coaching calls and stuff. Absolutely. And so the mind the mindset content is super valuable. And then you 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 lay out the course step by step. That's that's really, really good. And also it's not just about a client acquisition and candidate uh, sourcing and so on. You also add on top other methods that you can also yeah. follow to, you know, earn an income. In addition, mm -hmm. it's still in the recruitment and staffing industry, but yeah, there's other ways to make money. In, there's stuff in there that you will not get uh, any, anywhere out there. And, uh, you know, so <laughs> you, man, that, that by itself, <laughs> that, that other stuff by itself is enough to actually get, get your full-time income. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. So, and that's what I, you know, and that's what I, you know, I think we have over 70 lessons of content. We have the mindset content. We have the live group coaching calls. So all the calls are recorded if people are not able to attend them. We even have, uh, we have meetings where people talk about how they landed their first deal. So all the top recruiters in there are talking about how they landed their first deal. And we have a private Facebook community group as well. Mm -hmm. But I yeah. think, Mark, you know, man, what I tell people like, 
do not purchase the program if you're not an action taker. You're not ready to, to take yeah. action, you know, at mm -hmm. the end of the day. So you're, you know, so so Mark, man, I guess, man, um, you 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 you've done it, man. You 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 took the risk of trying to do it yourself. You purchased a few other programs. It's not to say that those programs did not work for you. It's just that you needed more. And you came yeah, they did. It's like uh, it's like a football player joining uh, yeah. one major league, major yeah. league, game, major league team, and then uh, they do well, but they didn't win mm -hmm. the, the the championship, the and then they go to another team, and all of a sudden, exactly. wow, they got the, the championship trophy, you right. know, or they get a better deal. It's not to say the other one didn't work, and this no, 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 no. the other ones are still as good. And I, but yeah, yeah, but and I, and I, I hundred percent agree. Some yeah. some of my some of my competitors' programs, the way their programs are designed, they're more so designed for experienced recruiters, and people don't understand the difference. Like because if you like you've been recruiting for a while just on your own, teaching yourself, but when you go into a program and all of my the only thing that is showing you is how to sell, versus my programs teaches you both sides of beginner and it's for beginners and seniors. But mm -hmm. I'm teaching you how to become a recruiter. I'm not just teaching yeah. you how to close deals. And I think yep. that's what separates me from so many more. Mark, man, any make your you know fifty eight thousand. You know within you know thirty days. You know thirty forty days of joining No Matter Recruits Academy. May any 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 advice out there or last words for the people that are watching this. You know at the moment, man, because there are a lot of people that were in your shoes. And, you know, I just want them to take initiative, you know, on taking action because we are, man, studies are showing more and more that robots and AR are replacing jobs. And over the, over the next five to 10 years, uh, you know, mm -hmm. a lot of people are going to be working remotely. A lot of people are going to be out of jobs. A lot of people are continuously getting let go as we are going to continue to go through a recession this year in 2023. We are most likely going to have more pandemics. COVID is just the beginning. We have more to yeah. come and people don't realize this. And this is why I believe in having additional streams of income to prepare. You know, if a job lets you go, why would you let a company or a corporate call, a corporate job be in control of, of, of your, food, your, your food in your family? You know, your mm -hmm. food in your family's yeah. mouth. You got kids, you got mm -hmm. wife, you got kids, you got a wife, you got a partner, and you have this one corporation that could easily let you go and it's not feed your family versus you having your own business. So I guess, Mark, you know, man, what is your advice or words out there for people in your shoes? that were where you at before you purchased the program, you know, what would you say to them? I would say, number one, don't be fearful because fear mm -hmm. is a big demotivator to a lot of things. Uh, with, yeah. with your program, mm -hmm. there is no fear. If there is any mm -hmm. fear, the fear is just within you and it's something that you just need to overcome. Jump in, uh, mm -hmm. number one. Number two, um, make sure you study the course you know, go through everything, mm. understand clearly, um, and then take action, you know, immediately take yeah. action, you know, by taking mm. action, I mean, go out there and start talking to, to candidates and you don't have to be mm -hmm. orthodox. That's, that's what I recommend. Don't be orthodox. Mm -hmm. You can mm -hmm. use your local network, go out there physically, talk to employers who mm -hmm. you know in the, from your, on your phone, Rolodex, or even mm -hmm. people that you know physically go to, um, Go, go to even mm -hmm. a, an event or I, 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 like, mm -hmm. it's a big affair here. I saw here on a Saturday here. It's an expo. Yeah. It's Dallas here. It happens in Dallas, Northern Virginia. It's, a, it's an mm -hmm. expo. They had a big show here. Just just go in there, pay, pay $10, $15, spend the whole yeah. Saturday there shaking hands. You know, you don't have to be mm -hmm. on, the, on the internet here. You don't necessarily have to rely on LinkedIn, email, mm -hmm. or any, any of the recommended methods, yeah. you know. And then from there on, once you get those hands shaking, very, very soon you're gonna get your first client. And then from there on now the work begin. You start looking for candidates. Mm -hmm. Now candidates again, you know, you just start looking looking for them through your again, very be very unorthodox. You don't have to be mm -hmm. follow because what what they say is that uh if everything to you looks like a nail, mm -hmm. what's the word? How do they put it? If all you got is a hammer, everything looks like a nail, you know? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> so you shouldn't be like that. You should, you know, be multi-prong type of person, yeah. multi fat Just think, think this way, that way. Your your head yeah. should be, your eyes and ears should be wide open, so that mm. you can always give yourself a chance to get that candidates across the board yeah. or get yourself another client. So, my, my my thing right now is to get yeah. about three more, 
three more clients. I have yep. one to four more clients by maybe March and okay. then get one VA. Four more clients and one VA. VA. That's my goal in, in the next two, three months. And then from there on, um, yeah. And, and you're gonna you're gonna, you're gonna hit it, mate. I I, I surely believe you're gonna hit it. Your work ethic, yeah. your 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 consistency, and just you know you putting in the hours, mate, shows you know that it's possible. Like I said, I think a lot of right. people think this is a. Some people get in my program and they just go straight to the sales part and they don't go through the process of recruiting, qualifying right. candidates, qualifying right. candidates, asking the right questions. I'm not just, I don't, you know, I tell people it's no Lambos, it's no Manchester with me. You know, I'm not here to teach you how to be rich. I'm here to teach you how to be free. I want to be genuine and sincere as possible, you know, and, you know, what people need to understand as well is stop comparing your success to your coach's success, to other people's success. Measure your success by what you want and what you want out of life. With me, you know, my lifestyle, I work one month on, one month off. I live in Thailand where food is $2, massage is just $10. So why would I work every day if I don't have to? When I can close one deal and take two months off of work. Everyone has different lifestyles. Everyone has different expectations. You can make- I want to be like, I want to come to Thailand. I want to bring my family to Thailand. <laughs> come to Thailand. I want to bring my, come to my, Thailand, daughter, and my wife, bring them there, hey, hang out here for four or five months. <laughs> hey, man. You know, Mate, that's this, what I but, want. But this is what, this is what new millennials are doing because we are moving into a remote society. People are leaving the states because inflation is just too high. When you can yeah. get a five bedroom house in Argentina for eighty thousand, and you know you, I mean, when inflation is one to like three hundred thousand pesos, but you have all these countries. We're seeing more and more Americans move overseas mm -hmm. and live a luxurious life versus working the hundred hours a week. I think people. You know, um, that's why I don't sell the work, 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 work. I, I believe in imbalance. I believe in enjoying life. And I think some of, my, some of my competitors push the work 100 hours a week. And I'm like, you don't have to do that. And that's right. not my strategy at the end of the day. What, what's the purpose of starting a business and being back in the same situation you was in your corporate job and just working mm -hmm. all the time. So that, yep. that's what people, that's one of the points that people miss out on. Mark, man, I'm, I'm really proud of your success and your journey, man. I hope that your story inspires people, um, you know, like to never give up and to take action at the end of the day. And that's what you've done, man. You, you, you brought on a client with six, with six, uh, six rows and landed your first two for 58,000. You still got three more and you're still trying to bring on three more clients, man. And you're an action taker and I appreciate you, man. You want to, you know, you're going to be one of my top students this year for sure. No matter if it's Academy. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, look, mate, I appreciate you. I'm going to, I'm going to end the call and I, I look forward to, to talking to you soon. Okay. Absolutely. Thanks so much, uh, AJ, for having me on the call and uh, really look forward to more, more success. Absolutely. Thank you, man.